What's going on guys? Saucy Dangles coming at you, teaching you how to play your PlayStation 2 games on PC. So first, what we're going to do is download the actual emulator itself. This is what makes the computer think it is playing a PlayStation 2 game. The one we are using is called PCSX2. And what you're going to want to do first is go to its website. The link will be the first link down in the description below. Once you're on this page, this is for Windows. If you are on Mac or Linux, right here where it says download, you just click on one of these, whichever one you want. Default will be Windows. So once you're on the page, you look for the one that says installer, which is what you want, and you would click download. Now I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to download it again. Now as you'll see, everything here is checked by default. You want to keep it that way and hit next. Once it's asking you here is where do you want it to install to? I suggest keeping it to wherever it says as default. That's what I did. So hit install. So once it's finished, you just hit close. You double click it. And this will come up. Now language selector, system default, default apply. That's up to you. I usually just make it English just in case. Um, it didn't really work. I still had to change it on the actual emulator itself but do whatever you want to do for that but other than that you just hit next now this came up for me what this is saying is that since I already had it installed on my computer earlier it's asking me if I want to restore the same uh, data and settings and everything I had before so I'll just uh, overwrite so it, it doesn't it's brand new just like for you guys Alright, so this comes up now. So we may have to play around with this later, maybe even in another video, but for right now, you guys are just going to hit next. So right here, select a BIOS ROM. Now this might not, this part here might be blank for you. So what you're going to have to do is go down in the second link down below in the description, and it will bring you to this website right here. What a PlayStation 2 BIO is, is that it's sort of proof of purchase that you own a PlayStation 2 legally. Now I do own one, I have it sitting right next to me, it works, but it's, go, it's a lot of work going through its files on the computer and trying to find its BIOS. So what you can just do is download them right here, download now. I already downloaded it so I don't need to do it again. But once that is downloaded, you're going to want to put it into this uh, folder right here, it, it'll be whatever is default for you. This is where you want to extract them, so you just copy and paste them right here. And then when you do that, you just click refresh list and they'll pop up here. Now depending on where you are and what games you want to play, that's which one you want to choose. I'm from the United States, my games that I want to play are from the United States, so I click on that. And there you go, it started. Now to play a game, you need to download a game. So if you go down to the third link in the description below it will bring you to this website. This is a very good emulator website. So far, I mean, I've only downloaded two ROMs so far because they do take a while to download, but both have worked absolutely fantastic, like it was straight from the PlayStation 2 console. So what you do, say, I'm gonna be playing Godzilla Save the Earth. So what I would do is you go to G, you scroll down and look for Godzilla Save the Earth. Click on, oh, click on download links, it'll take you down here, you click on it and it will download. Mine took about half an hour to download so it took a while. The other game I downloaded took a little less. But once that is downloaded you want to have a folder for it so I have one right here. This is my uh, ISO folder. Now you can put it wherever you want. You can have it on desktop, in your PCSX2 folder, wherever you want it. But have a separate one for this. So I kept mine right here you want to make sure that it is actually an ISO.ISO as you can see there you're going to need WinRAR if you do not know what WinRAR is you probably shouldn't be making your computer play PlayStation 2 games anyway so go look up that on another video but if you have it 7-Zip also works any sort of extracting sort of program will work but if you have it do an ISO so now what you'll do is you'll go over to the actual PCSX2 right here Click on CDVD and make sure that ISO is what is checked. Then you go to ISO selector, browse, 
and you go to wherever this folder is. Now mine's in a different location than the default one. So I will go to that right here, click open, and that will that one is selected. Now to actually play the game, I have an Xbox One controller plugged in. I will make a separate video on how to get your controller working and programmed to the controls that you want. That will be in another video, so stay tuned for that and be sure to subscribe for that. So then to play the game, you click system and you have two options, boot fast or boot full. Boot full is what you would have done on the PlayStation 2. So you turn it on, it comes up with the PlayStation logo and the sounds and all that. Boot fast skips you right to the game, super fast. So that's what we're going to do. Hit X. And I'll go through the loading just like the game used to. Now, for some of you, it won't run smooth. For some of you, the gameplay may seem very, very slow motion. And for others, it'll work perfectly fine. If it's not working well for you, it could be one of two things. It could be either A, the ROM that you chose isn't good, so just try a different game out before you try out the next thing. See if it's the game itself. If you download another game and it's still slow, you're going to have to just get a new computer. That means that your computer is not good enough, the processor is not fast enough, maybe it could be the graphics card, something just can't keep up with the program. Now games like this that are 3D and very action-y, it's more hard on your processor, so if you try some games that aren't as intense like that, it won't be as bad. So that's all guys, that's how you get to play your PlayStation 2 games on your PC. Thanks for watching, like the video if it helped, let others get the opportunity to see it. Subscribe for more, I'll see you guys in the next video.